In this video, I want to show you how to um, add your own Ruby beautifier because look at it does not come with one and um, I know a way of getting one. So the first thing you want to do is you want to um, find this Ruby beautify gem which um, I think has a command that allows you to beautify the code of a file so we will want to see the instructions on how to install that for Windows I think it's just gem For some reason, is not able to find the. Okay, so it appears that in order to get this to work, we need to um, copy the certificate for AdTrust external um, into Ruby Gems SSL certificates. So it's just a matter of going to that directory and. Uh, copying that file this one right here into that directory and hopefully that should solve the problem let's see if it solves it and apparently it did so now we're ready for the next step so having this installed, we, w we want to check if the command rbeautify works. So I believe that's the command. Yep. So with this command we can beautify Ruby code. So in the script I created here, beautify directory hmm. we want to go to beautify e and here it's the code I've have um, added for beautifying and all I have to do is I have to take a selected text um, if I select nothing then I just simply select everything um, otherwise if it's a line or a block then I change the selection to be a line type of selection and then um, after I do that, all I have to do is just get the um, filter that text with this rbeautify command, and then that should take care of things. So I'm going to load this macro. God, I don't understand why it keeps thinking that that's the directory. And then I'm going to try using the command on gen input. Beautify. It's Ruby Beautify. There we go. And it works quite nicely. So now the next step is to actually. Um, have that command be executed whenever we do tools beautify beautify so I'm gonna tr show you how to do that so you will want to go to the macros directory and look for C format 
and in there look for default beautifier extend ext here we will want to add ruby so that when the language detects that it's ruby it's going to prepend the word ruby before beautify so then the name of the command will match our ruby beautify here once you do that um, you can then save the file and reload the file Okay, so now we have loaded um, the modified C format file. So now, whenever I have my um, Ruby f here unformatted, I can just go to Tools, Beautify, Beautify, and then it's going to call on Ruby Beautify for me. Uh, the nice thing about this is that I can also um, beautify only in a particular selection. So it's not going to beautify the whole file, but just a portion of it. Well, I guess it doesn't do a perfect job yet, but it's better than nothing. So anyway, I hope this helps you. Um, let me know if you have suggestions or, or ways to improve this. Um, thanks for watching.